Oh, I'm so glad you're here. What yes. a nice surprise. Wow. These are the moments Jim Cohen lives for. Are you Jim. hungry? Greeting people in his restaurant's dining room. Are we doing grilled chicken? And helping create delicious dishes in the kitchen. Try marinating overnight in pineapple juice and chilies. But a few years ago, all of this was in jeopardy. And I thought I was screaming for my brother but I couldn't make a sound. Jim was lying in bed, fully aware of everything around him, but could only blink his eyes. You're just locked in. You're just locked in. Jim was experiencing locked-in syndrome, which is actually a stroke. A blood clot was preventing part of his brain stem from getting blood, so signals couldn't get from his brain to his spinal cord. You can't move and you can't think. So these are pictures from the procedure that Jim had when he arrived. Dr. Joshua Seinfeld, a neurosurgeon at UC Health, performed surgery to restore blood flow to Jim's brain. He said timing was everything. But the fact that he got here while there was still a lot of brain left to save allowed us to restore the blood flow and give him a, a chance to make a meaningful recovery. Dr. Seinfeld says two million brain cells die every minute blood flow is cut off and that cell loss starts as soon as you start having symptoms. That's why he says if you or a loved one is feeling off, don't wait. If someone's having weakness in their face or an arm, if they're having trouble speaking, that this is an emergency and, and you shouldn't wait to see if someone's going to get better over several hours or let them try to sleep it off. For weeks after surgery, Jim could only use his eyes to communicate. Everything from when he was hungry to if his daughter's fiance could have her hand in marriage. And all I could do was blink. So I blinked once, which meant yes. Being by her side on her wedding day became his motivation to recover. I had to walk Lexi down the aisle. Through months of therapy, Jim replaced the image of his reality with the image of himself in his mind. I never thought I would get up, but then I would, you know, spend a couple minutes visualizing being able to walk. And so I would get up and, and do it. Jim defied expectations. And not only was he able to walk his daughter down the aisle. Hey, Emmy. Hiya. He now enjoys moments Hiya. with her newborn daughter. Hello, yes. <laughs> yes, you're smiling. Jim says he's grateful. Oh, yeah. Thanks. For family and friends and the ability to keep living his passion. What are we giving you today? Something he says we can all do, no matter what challenge may have us locked in. You have to believe that you can do it. And you can't be afraid of things. And you have to see yourself doing those things. And so far, it's worked out for me. I'm Kumasi Yaron reporting.